If you've put in the work to grow a successful head of broccoli, then I think you deserve the right to eat that broccoli when it's just perfect. But how to know when your broccoli head is just ready to be picked? Does it turn red like a tomato? Does it turn yellow or orange like a pepper? Not quite. But there are some signs to let you know when your broccoli is ready to be harvested. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video so that you can enjoy your well-deserved broccoli harvest. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining in. This is Dylan from the Trini Gardener channel and I'm super excited for this video because we're going to be talking about harvesting our hard one broccoli that we worked so hard to get and now we have it here and it's time to harvest it but we want to harvest it at the right time and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the first thing is just rem a reminder about something that we talked about in our cauliflower and in our grain guide for broccoli, even for cauliflower and for cabbage, which is about bolting. It really the right time to harvest your broccoli has to do with bolting. The head of the broccoli itself, everything that you see on the top here, they, if you actually look at them, what do you think they look like? They are bits and little buds of flowers. It's maybe, I don't know, in this head alone, they could probably be like a few thousand just flower buds right here. And what we actually eat when we eat broccoli is we are eating the buds of the flowers. It's just like any flower you can imagine, just before the flower opens up and you can see the flower, it's a bud and that's what this is it's just a bunch of buds here probably like 10,000 20,000 buds here and that's what we eat when we eat broccoli of course there's a stem there's other things but that's essentially what you are eating so when is the right time to eat that the perfect time in my opinion is to eat it before the bud turn into a flower because once it turns into a flower that's when the bolting process has started and it's just not going to taste good i don't know if anybody likes eating like that but that's just not the way broccoli is normally eaten when you get a head of broccoli, it's normally a tight green canopy of just flower buds. And that's what you want. So the first thing to look for is, this is my um, experience here talking, which is that from the time you see these buds starting, a few of them, like if you look at this head here, there's probably a, let's say about 1%, 2% of the head is starting to turn yellow. When it turns yellow, that's the stage just before it starts to open up and flower and that flower is how we get broccoli seeds so the same way that we talked about bolting for getting cabbage seeds and for getting cauliflower seeds same thing bolting is how you get the seeds for broccoli so looking for that yellow as a sign that it's about to bolt and picking it before it starts to bolt there now some people wait until their broccoli start to separate like i told you with my cauliflower that i wait for the head to start to separate Broccoli, I don't like to do that. I don't like the taste of the broccoli once that head starts to separate too much. Now, of course, again, we are living in Trinidad where it's not the ideal temperature or climate for broccoli. We agree. So I do wait until I start to see some yellow. I don't pick it entirely green. That will allow me some more days. And we're talking about just a matter of days here for picking, whereby it will be um, getting some chance to get bigger. I'm going to get a bigger head. Because, I mean, if it's one thing we know about broccoli, and I mentioned this before in my broccoli growing guide, it's an expensive crop. So the most you can get out of your broccoli head is going to save you on your pocket. And, of course, just in terms of being able to eat it and enjoy the work of your labor. Now, when you are harvesting your broccoli, there are a few things to consider. One, the broccoli leaves, like these leaves here, are entirely edible. You do not need to throw these leaves away especially if you grew your broccoli 100 percent organic no pesticides any extra fertilizer chemical fertilizer spraying on your leaves these leaves are not just okay to eat they are amazing to eat i talked about eating your cabbage out the leaves and eating your cauliflower out the leaves but none of those in my opinion taste as good as a broccoli leaf i honestly sometimes will just cook the broccoli leaf and not even cook the broccoli Leave the broccoli for another day and just eat the broccoli leaves. It is amazing. I steam it down with tomatoes as well and it really tastes really good. I'm going to eat one here because the really young ones, like ones like this here, uh, I'll see if you all can see that. You can put this in a salad. Mm. It's so sweet. It's just like eating like, um, like kale with the taste of broccoli. That's literally all it is. And I mean, just really good. This is a perfect way to use the entire crop and not waste any bit of it 
at all especially when it's so delicious now apart from the leaves you can also eat this stem all the way down until wherever you find becomes too tough so at the very top the stem is going to be nice and soft and you're going to get that perfect broccoli flavor as it goes down further like maybe to the middle part there then it's going to, it's going to start to get a bit more tough right so in that case you just feel it out and see which ones you're comfortable eating i mean if it's getting lower down and it's kind of tough you can still um, steam it until it gets soft season that up and eat it it is amazing it's still really good and the last thing that you need to be careful with when you are harvesting your broccoli is please don't treat your broccoli like cauliflower cauliflower you get one head of a cauliflower same thing with a cabbage broccoli is the gift that keeps on giving so the top of the broccoli yes that's your initial head that's the main head and then you're fine but as you go lower in the broccoli I'm going to bring you all close and you're going to see what is that. Those are little branches or like a side shoot of more broccoli. And each of those, if you leave it there, it is going to create not a massive head like how the main head was, but you're going to get a good head of broccoli. And looking at the prices of broccoli, I don't think I can go into any market or supermarket and pick up anything broccoli related and pay less than $10. Even if it's the tiniest little piece of broccoli, it's going to be like, 14 15 dollars for that a head like this i mean I'll, I'll bring it closer for you and you all can tell me how much you think this head of broccoli is going to be but i'll tell you i have paid 20 dollars and more for heads that were smaller than this one this is not even a massive head this is just an advertised head and yeah i think out of all of the crops that i've done so far this is the probably the most per pound um, expensive crop that i've covered so far so i mean it's well worth the time to learn to grow this in your garden and if you were to just grow broccoli alone in your garden you'd be saving yourself so much of money over time okay so let's do some harvesting you all know that i like to use just uh garden shears instead of like a um, knife when i'm harvesting but i mean either one works just make sure that if you are using the same garden shears that you use in your garden that you sanitize it because this could carry disease on it especially if you have been doing some pruning on other kind of trees Remember everything we talked about, so the angle has to be very precise. I'll take that leaf off so you all can see better. There we go. How does that look? And this is what you would be left with. You see these side shoots are here and I'll just leave those to grow. Keep on watering the plant. Just as usual, I probably wouldn't do any top dressing. But just keep on watering, taking care of it as usual. And just let these side shoots grow out. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Fairly painless extraction. I cannot wait to have this broccoli in some stir fry or just steamed. It just always is amazing broccoli when you grow it, especially 100% organic in your home garden. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, but more importantly, of course, I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope it's going to encourage you to not just grow broccoli, and of course, feel free to check out my broccoli growing guide, but to harvest your broccoli at the time that you think is best for you. Remember, as a home gardener, we have that prerogative. We don't have to eat it, and we don't have to eat it in the way that the, you know, the market or the supermarket tells us to eat it. We can eat the leaves. We can eat the stem even more stem than you probably would get if you were to buy it in the market and we can leave the side shoots to get more out of our broccoli plant remember you can follow us on instagram tiktok and on facebook to see more content coming out of the trinity gardeners garden i remember that you can tag us on any of those platforms so that we can see the pictures and the videos coming out of your gardens we are so encouraged and motivated to see you all growing in your home gardens remember as always this has been dylan from the trinity gardener channel reminding you to get up and get green take care